Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Wednesday the 2nd of November. We opened our worship this evening with Eric Whitaker's Nox Orumque. Come Lord Jesus, you too were tired when day was done. You met your friends at evening time. Come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus, you too enjoyed when nights drew on. You told your tales at close of day. Come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus, you kindled faith when lamps were low and opened scripture and broke the bread and shed your light as darkness fell. Come Lord Jesus, meet us here. Now our reading and our reflection. This evening we continue our series looking at characters from the New Testament and today we turn to the guards at the tomb. Our reading comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. Thanks be to God. For those who are sports enthusiasts, both playing and watching, it can be a turmoil of emotion, especially during television broadcasts. The looks of joy on the faces of winners sometimes mix with disbelief, as if they cannot truly grasp that after the years of training, sacrifice and pain, they have finally achieved their goals. Contrasting this are the looks of disappointment and misery on those who have failed to win a medal. Most poignant are those who have just missed out on success, whether through accident, injury or just failing to give enough finally to secure the triumph that they have chased for so long. What courage and resilience it must take to pick oneself up after that, assess the failure and begin to train once more. We can be reminded of these sporting failures when reading this passage and reflect on the anonymous guards at the tomb of Christ. When he appears risen from the dead, transforming everything that has been accepted about life, death and eternity, these hapless men faint from fear. Thus do they miss out on the greatest adventure of their lives. The women, on the other hand, stand firm, and so are the first to hear those life-changing words. Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. The Christian journey is not always easy. The way is strewn with difficulties and challenges, failures and defeats. But we must not lose heart or allow fear to turn us away from the true path. For those who keep going, the end will always be victory. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Dear Lord, as the darkness draws in, you are the light in our hearts. As the air turns colder, you are the warmth in our souls. As the stars are revealed, you renew our spirits. As the moon shines, we know we are held safe in your arms. Bless us and keep us this night. Amen. Now may the Spirit of God, who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos, find a home in our hearts and settle our minds as we sleep, that tomorrow we may wake and live to God's glory. Amen. <laughs>